Nagbukas na po ang fourth and final quarter of action. Salputan Sanmig at Tokitex dito sa Game 4 ng ating Commissioner's Cup Finals. Rani Del Deo Campo unleashes a three. Di Ubra, kasama niya sa sexy na Kelly Williams, Harvey Carey, Jason Castro, and Jimmy Alabag. Pinapatay niya yun. Sina Mark Maroka, James Yap, Ian Sangalang, Mark Pingris, and James Mays. Mag-umarge naman po kasama si Dadeen Kinito Henson dito sa likod ng mikropono. Well, mag-uun sa third quarter sa dami ng three-point shots na pinukul ng talk and text. Hindi sila nakapunta sa 15-foot line at all. Not a single free throw attempted by talk and text in the third period. As against 11 out of 14 free throws for Selby Kong in that period. Itong Sammy Coffey really put on a third quarter storm, snatching the lead away for the first time tonight, 69-68. Pero back-to-back trees naman ang pinitawan doon ng Token Dex to reclaim the upper hand. 6-1 advantage for Sammy Coffey is a third period in terms of assists. And Mark Baroga picks up his fifth personal foul sa pagkakataon na yun. Big blow para dito sa Sanmig as Alex Magliari is being deployed for the first time tonight. And James Yap continuing to ride the bench. Oh no, he's on the floor now. He's on the floor. Check that. Alapag to Deo Gambo. Talk and text. Can they do enough to recover from that onslaught from Sanmig Coffee? Or do the mixers have one more run in them? Alapag against Sangalang. He's got the speed on him. They go to Deo Gambo. Looking to barrel his way through. Kelly from the outside against the shot clock. Kelly bails him out. Big basket by Kelly Williams. Again, that mid-range jumper. He's making himself available to take that shot. Ten points now for Kelly Williams. I think all of those points coming from mid-range. That is now an eight to nothing run, bridging the third and fourth quarters. Paradiso sa drop ng Texters after surrendering the lead. Panandalian. Amalyari underneath. Tapal ng board. Pingris up, up, and away. Mays, rebound, put back, Pintis. Pero merong foul as he was held down. Multiple possessions for San Miguel Coffee. Yung tenacity na nakikita natin sa San Miguel Coffee na hindi natin nakita sa first half. Bigla, bigla. We see them now fighting for every loose ball, for every rebound. Mays at the line, free throw sa atin sa atin. Taksebuana Luvillier, basta pera. Iba sebuana, Sel Guevara. Anong yung balita? Pagalit na sinabi ni Coach Tim Cohn, sabi niya sa kanya mga players, even before this series started, I already told you guys that TNT will shoot threes. Kaya naman si Coach Norman Black, pinaninindigan ang pag-set up sa kanyang mga shooters. Mag-hook ka dito. Well, very clear. Yung three-point shooting and talk and text has kept them in the lead, particularly nung nag-run ng San Miguel Coffee sa third quarter, six three-pointers scored by Talking Tex in that period. Two for two para dito kay Mays to bring them to within five. Largest lead of the game by Talking Tex was 17. Williams on the roll. Big, beautiful feed coming from Alapag. They can roll play, hindi na pag-recover. I think San Miguel Coffee was very wary about yung shooting ability ni Jimmy Alapag. Kelly Williams now 6 for 6 from the field. Kaya balik sa pito ang abante. Lang tropa. Mays at the post. Muscles his way through. And will through to the line for two shots. Big role being played here by Kelly. The machine gun Williams. Hindi lang sa offensa but also in playing defense inside against James Mays. Kaya naman siyang pita sa ating talk and text slow-mo replay. Brought to you by talk and text. Araw-araw panalo. Free throw to Mays. Amin Tis as Justin Melton checks back in. Papalitan si Sangala. James Mays, a lot of experience playing in NBA Summer Leagues. He's played for Charlotte, Indiana, for Toronto, for Utah, for San Antonio, even the Brooklyn Nets. Free throw to Mays, pangalawa, brought to us by Cebuana Luvillier. Basta pera, ipa Cebuana. Mays misses both. Nine and a half na titira dito sa game number four. Alabag working against Melton. Gets it over to Del Campo. Howell bagong balik. Pulls up in front of Mays. Mintis yan. Magliari para sa board. Magliari stepping on the gas. Down the gut of the defense. Nothing but board on that attack. At sa rebound play, hinabot ng foul. Itong si Howell. 
Mace picks up his second person. PJ Simon sitting on the bench. Coach Tim Cohn managing his players. Howell, a variety of moves. Jump hook doesn't work. Leo Campo taps it to the wrong man. Melton loses it to Canaletta. Couldn't send that one home. Jimmy puts it up. Leo Campo, hindi na binaba. Niluwa lang ng ring yung kanyang tira. What a heartbreaking miss for Rally Del Leo Campo. Wide open siya sa nalalit. Devance working against Canaletta. Natapika ng bola. Leo Campo pushes it up. Coach Tim Cohn raising his arms, asking for a foul. Nino will attack that baseline and is fouled. Devon picks up his second personal. Reyes may tanga ng bola, yap on him. They go to Alapag. Reyes has eight to work with. Canaletta for the long one. No, Howell rebound and Tog and Dex with another possession here. Jimmy wants to take JDV off the dribble. The Mighty Mouse goes to Deo Campo. Melton on him. Ranidel using his height and drops home the deuce. 80-71. Balik na sa siya mga bante rito ng Tog and Dex. Tropang Dexters. RTV into an internet TV. Baba na naman sa ani mga bante ng tropa. Rani Del Babawe punches it through! Atin pa rin sa atin ng PLDD Home Devolution turns your ordinary TV into an internet TV. Here's another three-point shot. And for Talking Text, own sina yan from the three-point distance that they've scored. Yan si Deo Gambo on the floor for the first time para kina Coach Tim. Wraps a pass over to JDV, spins the other way, gets the basket, make a Samabang foul. San Migovi refusing to surrender this ball game while they can still afford to drop one dahil may sudden death pa. Ayaw mo nang umabot sa ganun, ano kinito? That's right. Uh, although there will be a uh, two-day rest, for both teams, Adixan Migovi wants to make sure that hindi na umabot ito sa game number 5. This PLDD Home Devolution BBA Commissioner's Cup is presented to you by PLDD Home Devolution. Turns your ordinary TV into an internet TV. Howell with a pull-up 14-footer. Doesn't drop. Maliari with a rebound. Coach Tim digging deeper into his bench. Dito nga lang sa fourth quarter na kalaro, itong si Maliari at yan si Deo Campo. Maliari working against Canaletta. Yap launches a three. Bang! What a time to explode for James Yap. At it's sa atin yun ang PLDD of Devolution. Turns your ordinary TV into an internet TV. Five points all in the last couple of minutes para a big game, James. And that brings them to it in three. And think of this. San Miguel's Mike Fingers is sitting on the bench. PJ Simon is sitting on the bench. James Mays is sitting on the bench. So those players are gonna come roaring back at the next opportunity for sure. Howell swallowed up by the defense of San Miguel. Baroka di discarte. Alapag right in front of him. They want Yancy to anchor that triangle. Yancy gets his hands on it. Hand off of Montague James. Step back jumper in front of Howell. Meron ang foul. Yancey called for the illegal pick. Timeout requested here with 5.15 to go. 85-82, talk and text. Trying to hang on, trying to hold off San Mikofi. Para nga magkaroon ng sudden death ngayong darating na linggo. And on that play, Jason Castro Took it strong to the hole, but lost it on the way up. Asa San Mignambola down by just three points. A oh, big gamble in the part of Coach Tim Cohn. At again, you see Alex Maliari defending against Jason Castro and was able to get the turnover. Devon Snaki to Simeis. Howell on him. Kicks it over. JDV from deep. 
Back irons that one. Magliari, big rebound. Loses it on the way up. James Jeff keeps it on that side. Barocca with a one-hander. Finger roll is good. 12 points for Barocca. The lead is just one. 85-84. Smart decision in the part of Mark Barocca in taking the high percentage shot and being aggressive and going to the hole rather than settling for the outside shot. Castro is shaken up though. Umihika ika pagbaba. Alapag puts it up. Bails the battle shot. Long two from Jimmy against the shot clock. Got it again. Jimmy Alapag with 17 in the game. Yeah, contra dito ni Castro. Gusto sukatin kung may tama talaga. James delivers off the glass. And quick decision in the part of James Yap to go against a smaller defender. Going glass, getting two points. 87-86. Hang on to your hats. Alabag misses. Mace tracks it down. Sandvik with a chance to reclaim the lead. Baroga did not want to pull the trigger. Devon's pleading for it. Baroga wants to take it himself. Baroga against Alabag delivers the two points. Well, realizing that Alapag may be giving up a few pounds in that matchup against Baroka, Alapag very, very difficult for him to guard against the post. Ano isusukli ng tropa down by one, Ranidel. Natapika ni Magliari, that's a foul. Silipin muna natin ang ating Fulton Thunder Drive, brought to you by Fulton. Empower your business. Beautiful picture perfect layup mula dito kay Mark Barroca. Logan Dex with possession, down by one. Ryan Reyes back on the floor. Reyes gets it to Howell. Two and the jam! Nice pass coming from Ryan Reyes. That assist so crucial in this series when you're looking for the open guy and playing a selfish basketball. Logan Dex 89, Sammy Coffey 88. Wala na pong tatlong minuto na titira. Mays, kick out pass, Barroca against Alabag, wants to take it down low once again, Barroca's pull up, that's good! That's a semi-post move in the part of Barroca, kaya niya gawin yan, and doing it against Jimmy Alabag. Gustong bumawi ni Mighty Mouse, gets it to Howell on the roll, Howell loses it, Mays quick hands, tapos pinatama pa sa paa ni Richard. Oh, big turnover here. Time left, 2.17. So we take a look at our Schick Smooth Move. Smooth Move brought to you by Schick Razor. Free your skin. Norman Black. Coach Norman Black still going with Forajero has not scored. Canaleta, who has been hot. Bang! Big game, James. Saving his best for last. Ten points all scored in the fourth period. You've, everybody in the building has been waiting for James through three quarters. Dito sa pinaka crucial moments, nag deliver siya kinito. Slowly chipping away at that lead, and finally, nandiyan yung rhythm ng San Miguel Coffey and James Ya. Ten points all in the fourth period. And you mentioned it earlier, you were also waiting for Coach Nick to give his thrust back to James Ya to leave him on the floor. And that thrust has been given. And James Yap has delivered. 93-89. This is the largest lead of the game para sa San Miguel Coffee. Ang Token Dex po lumamang ng hanggang 17 doon sa opening moments ng ating third quarter. This capacity crowd enjoying every bit of action. Napakainit ng ating bakbakan. Chance of defense from San Miguel Planet. Well, the defense of Coach Tim Cohn showing up here big time in the second half. As you see, the commissioner, Chito Salud, the media, bureau chief, Willie Marshall, and special assistant to the commissioner. And rin. In the building, ang ating mga PLDT executives, Ariel Fermin, Che Labal Revilla, and Hill Garcia, enjoying the action here. As Stock and Dex, this is definitely having their backs against the wall. 
down by four, two minutes to go in an elimination game para sa kanila. Alapak working against Baroga, gets it across the timeline. Castro being hounded by Maliari. Doubler going to the basket, loses it all the way up. Baroga recovers it para sa San Bicabi. The finals MVP of the Philippine Cup looking to settle the Super Coffee Mixers down. Got it again. And Mike Barocca, James Yap have exploded in the fourth period. And Nino Canaleta, KG is sitting on the bench for talking text. Deo Campos scoots through. A minute and 24 remaining. It's just a two possession game. Talking text looking for a stop. Barocco once again looking to carry the steam on his shoulders, fouled on the pass. Only the 14 foul, but that is the first in the last two minutes for Satropa. First court personal then for Dito Kehavo. Ryan Reyes on the floor because of his defense against James Yapa. He has been, it has been Barocco attacking the defense in Jimmy Alapak. Mariwasa quality play natin yun. Hatid sa atin ng Mariwasa tiles. Looking for quality tiles. Trust only Mariwasa. Uncompromising quality. Fresh shot clock pa para sa Sam Mikov. Higin ito. Tumama sa rin yun. And time ticking away. Now there's less than a minute to go. What a reverse on Sam Mikov. Sam Mik looking for the knockout blow. Baroka in the lane. Punch out of the middle! 20 points for Mark Barocca. 10 coming here in the fourth period. Everybody over at the San Mig side. Sinalubong at pinuhat pa. Ito si Mark Barocca. What a performance he has put on. Time out muna tayo. TVA Commissioner's Cup is brought to you by PLDT Home Tvolution. Now he's on the floor. Canaleta misses. And that might just do it. Magliari will be fouled if he makes one. It's a three-possession lead. That is a San Mikofi. Nakuha sa tiyaga. At kanina nakasabi natin that San Mikofi showing signs of tightness because of the wear and tear of a long playoff series. But Coach Tinko managing his players' time so efficiently. Well, Coat, amazing move in the paint muna ang ating silipin. This amazing move is brought to you by Well Coat House Paints. Valyari's second free throw for an eight-point lead. Misses. A glimmer of hope para sa talk and text. They gotta go quick. They need a three. They need a miracle at this point. Steal pa! San Mig Coffee! On the verge of winning their third consecutive PBA championship. And Mark Barocca, James Yap. What a finish for San Nicofi. At yung pagkapasok ni Alex Bayari. Midway the fourth period to play defense against Jason Castro. Castro held to only five points in the game. For a chef, hindi man lang naka-score. And this man, Mark Barocca, rising to the occasion. 21 points. Yung istorya netong game four, parang istorya ng boom tournament ng Samik. They started a game down 117. They were down by as much as 17 in the third quarter, Ginito. But look at them now, on their way to the Commissioner's Cup trophy. Ako na nindi wala ako sa sinabi ni Coach Tim Cohn. He's not looking at it from quarter to quarter. He's looking at the big picture, time management, rotation of players. And this is the result.